Hi. Didn't see you there. That was really cringy. You guys, I'm so excited to be filming again. It seems like I just put out a video and trust me, I, I did. I didn't film that this week. I actually filmed that like two weeks ago. So I was MIA for like two, three weeks. I know I said in my last video that I was gonna get my shit together and I would figure out a schedule, but to be honest, I haven't. Okay? I just haven't. I figured out after working freaking all my freaking hours, even my free time on my schoolwork and homework, is that I'm just freaking tired. I'm stressed out after and the only thing that makes me feel better is my makeup. I haven't had time to just play with and like, you know, do. That's why I haven't posted new looks on my Instagram recently. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make a video. And I'm gonna keep making videos because it makes me feel better. Now, because hopefully I will keep my promise and figure out a way how to work through this ish. But, um, yeah. I think I'm gonna do a get ready with me, even though I'm going absolutely nowhere. I just showered. Don't be fooled. I'm wearing a cute ass sweater, but girl, I got some Iron Man pants on. I just, I thought it would be cool to chat with you guys. Um, I just got out of the shower, you know, you know. Also, I think I fixed my lighting. Hallelujah. So today, I think I'm going to be doing, um, something super springy. That's what I'm feeling. Well, okay, I was, I was initially thinking about it, and when I'm not doing makeup for, like, a few days or even, like, a couple weeks, I kind of forget how to think, like, like a person who does makeup. I run out of inspiration and ideas. What holiday could it do? I thought Easter and then I realized that Easter passed already. So, like, you know what? It's spring. Let's just do a spring look. I mean, what? What? Not nah, right. See that today? I actually searched up on Google this picture. Well, actually, I didn't search up the picture. I searched up spring. And then this picture came up. And I really liked it. Um, you probably can't see this. I'll post it up here. It's just tulips and flowers and there's like red, yellow, like hot pink, well not hot pink, like very pink tulips and like beautiful violets. And I just think that's just such inspo, right? I mean, if you don't know what to do, just look at the stuff around you. Yeah, my face is completely bare. I look like a piece that can pretend that it's okay. Okay? Okay. Side note, you guys, I got another Tamagotchi. I saw in my birthday video, my sister bought me a Tamagotchi, the, the small, like, original one. I used to have one, and it, if you guys are, like, avid Tamagotchi collectors, or if you played Tamagotchi in, like, the 90s, you would know about these things. I had the version 3 Tamagotchi, but I have no idea where it is. My dad swears that I gave it away, but honestly, you guys... I, I refuse to believe that I did because that's just, I mean, that version of Tamagotchi is so hard to find now and it's so expensive if you do find them and especially the design that I had. I remember the exact design. I'm, cut, I'm really hurt. Looked in the garage where like my toys would be. I have other like containers that I haven't checked but I mean like it's just all the way back in the garage somewhere, so I'm hoping it's there. I checked the RV, I checked all the drawers in this house, like I really, I looked everywhere, you guys. I'm having major regrets right now. So my best friend actually got me a Tamagotchi, so she was talking to me about how she downloaded this Tamagotchi app on her phone, and then I was like, well, I'm feeling nostalgic again. But this this tiny one, which I think is called the Chibi Tamagotchi, they came out with this for the 20th anniversary of Tamagotchi. So it's a very simplified version. You don't do much with it. Um, but I still love it, you know, I still love it. Um, so anyway, yeah, we were talking about the Tamagotchi and how like we wanted to play it and stuff. And so- A bitch got one. This is the Tamagotchi Friends version. It had really low ratings. Which I could see why. I still love it so much, but the quality of this, like the pixels, are very hard to see. I don't know, it's so bulky. I mean, look at this. It's like this, and then this looks like a quail egg. Am I right or am I right? Anyway, this isn't a Tamagotchi review, but I just 
I love these so much. I love them. I love them. I'm gonna collect all of them. Anyway, that was off topic. I was talking about that for seven minutes. Wow, irrelevant. I'm gonna go ahead and start the whole uh, process. My skin is hella dry, so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Tarte drink of H2O. Um, moisturizer is so fire because it's a water gel um, formula, which means it's going to absorb quickly into the skin and be really gray underneath any type of foundation. It's not going to break up or anything. I love using this just for this reason, and also it's very hydrating. I think it's great for all skin types because it sinks in very quickly. This is like very rare. I don't normally show myself putting moisturizer on my skin. I literally just came out of the shower and normally, you know, this is how my day goes. I do my homework. Um, I don't finish until super late. I wake up really early too, like eight. That's early to me. Eight in the morning is pretty early to me. For 11's early to me. So I wake up at like eight just to do my homework. And I don't finish until like eight, so it takes a really long time. Plus I have like other classes to do and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and take my Mario Badescu spray. This is the lavender one. I like this, it smells so good. I feel like lavender just makes me feel better no matter what. So if you're feeling stressed out, I feel like if you just sprayed lavender around you, it would just calm you down. So I feel I feel pretty zen right now, to be honest. Alright, for my lips, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this Blistex lip thing, because I ran out of my Vaseline, which is what I normally use, and I think my Lucas Papa's old. Um, anyway, oh, yeah, 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 I was saying, my routine typically goes, so I finish homework pretty late, and then I just, um, go ahead, shower, and then I head to bed, maybe I watch a couple videos on YouTube to help, like, stress or I'll like meditate for like 10 minutes or something but I don't think to film a video because I have to remove my makeup after because it's super late at night and I don't film during the day because I do homework during the whole time so yeah all right honestly you guys I'm gonna go ahead do my eyebrows but I think I'm just gonna speed through it because this takes a very long time it's uninteresting nobody cares so be through this shiz. Okay, wow. I have no idea when my camera shut off. For some reason, it doesn't want to tell me anymore. Priming my eyes using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer, which I've used back in the OOG days. I like it better as an eye primer rather than a concealer. So, yeah. We're just using something other than the Tarp Tarp Shapey Tate because we just, I, I don't know, I just want to switch it up a little bit today. So that's what's happening. I'm gonna go ahead and just set that down with some powder very lightly. Just taking my Wet n Wild pressed powder and just running that lightly over. I'm gonna go ahead and take this color right here. The other the color, this one. And just sweep that into the my into my crease. I'm just going to go ahead. I think I'm gonna do more of like a rounded shape. I'm, I'm just going all out today. We're just gonna figure it out. You guys, I forgot what it was like doing makeup. It hasn't even been that long, but the most makeup that I've been doing is just like popping on a pair of lashes and washing some bronzer over my eyelids um, and just like wearing some bronzer maybe some like concealer or like a really light foundation and like some new lip gloss it's very basic and I love that look a lot you know it's like a good go-to look but I miss I miss playing with makeup like for real for realsies 
don't know, this is a little weird to me. It feels very strange doing this after a couple of weeks. My hand feels kind of rusty. I don't know. Now I'm going to go ahead and take a skinnier brush and we're going to go ahead and take this color. This is the Juvia's Place Masquerade Mini Palette and I'm going to go ahead and take this color right here. I'm going to use this to define this color. So the first color I laid down was just to help this color blend out. And this is like one of the um, colors of the flower in the picture, which is why I want to do this. So I'm going to focus this a little bit more on the crease and the outer corner of my eye. I'm just doing more of like a tapping motion and then just slightly buffing in a circular motion. I kind of have to check if my camera's recording because it's been shutting off out of nowhere and it's kind of annoying, so... I'm gonna go ahead and take this color right here. Let's just try to go over this and make it look a little bit more red than pink. So that we can see both red and both berry. So I'm gonna pack it on the outer corner and sweep it in the crease as well. And also use it to buff out this berry color. Okay, so you can see it's changing it a little bit. Looks a little bit more pink, but I don't know. Trust the process. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back and go ahead and blend these edges. Working with color is a little bit difficult, but that's actually what I find really fascinating because when you blend it out and like create something, it just looks crazy gorgeous and it's different from everything else. Okay, well, I'm gonna do a half cut crease. We'll see where this takes me. Bringing this cut crease a little higher and the huge because I don't know, we're already doing dramatic colors. We might as well just go all out with this, you know? Ooh, so I cut my crease. Or did I I did a half cut crease for both of my eyes, and I think I'm going to go ahead and use the white color in this 35B palette and just put that on top. I'll take this white and pack it on. Lately I've been really loving doing half cut creases with just like the pop of white on the lid. I just think it looks so pretty and it really makes the colors like stand out because it's such a huge contrast. So I love it so much. It just I mean, it's definitely not for the everyday wear, but you know, I'm, I'm not a person who does everyday wear. I'm just not. If I'm doing everyday, I'm going to be doing my dramatic ass makeup. That's just how it is. I know people say that, like, oh, you can't wear a smoky eye during the day, but I would. And I would wear like a green cut crease or like anything like that. Like I would wear that. I think I'm gonna go ahead and add the red color um, to this part right here just to help blend the berry color. Just incorporate the red a little bit more. I'm gonna go at it at an angle so it gives me more of that cat eye look. And I'm just doing more of like a padding motion. As you can see, it looks so pretty. Gonna go half and lightly go on the edges. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my face because I don't really finish off the eyes until I do my lower lash line and I can't do that without my face done. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do that first. I'm just gonna prime. I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. I've been trying this out and I actually like it. It's really good, very hydrating. I feel like it makes the foundation lay really smoothly, it makes my pores look smaller, and it holds onto my foundation for a long time. So, 
I've just been using a little stippling brush to kind of apply this because I have nails and I, I have this thing like I really don't like I don't know I just really don't like working product into my skin um, when I have nails it just bothers me like doing my moisturizer earlier that was just already hard enough I'm gonna go ahead and add um, some drops of the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glow Amour this is the shade Daybreak and I'm just gonna add it to like my cheeks really this is like way too dark but um, I've been trying to use this clay stick a little bit more just because like I don't know the first few times that I've tried it it just has not worked out it's been like really I don't know, it makes me break out, I feel like. So I'm just, I'm trying it, hoping that it really does work, but I feel like it's not. It's just, I'm just gonna have to return it. I haven't really had time to return it, so I'm just, like, it's sitting there. I'm like, maybe, you know, maybe if I try it with a different primer or something. But I'm pretty sure this foundation makes me break out. <laughs> So you guys, what is your, what has been like your favorite snack lately? Are you guys like huge snackers? Because I am a huge snacker. Like I, I eat like all day. If I'm not having a meal, I'm usually eating a snack because I, I just can't be without like a snack. When you can see how luminous this looks here. This foundation's pretty dewy. I feel like I look kind of yellow and dark, but I'm not. That's another thing. I grabbed the wrong foundation shade. It's fine. I'll just I'll just try to fix this with concealer. Your guys' favorite snack at the moment because mine is takis and the uh, hot Cheetos. I love spicy stuff like actually the the chips that have a little bit of like a sour citrus to it. I love it so. I mean, like, what's your your guys' favorite snacks right now? Do you have any spicy snacks that I could try? Because I love it. I'm using the Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum. Just because this, I think, is like the lightest concealer I have. So it's really going to help balance out, you know, this foundation. Also, what TV shows are you guys currently watching i'm really into like dramas like like gossip girl drama um if you guys have watched one tree hill i love that kind of drama like with a good story oh my god currently watching friday night lights um but i think i'm almost done i'm on the last season so i need something new i've been watching Grey's anatomy and i'm on like the current season that's on right now but we don't have Hulu anymore, so I can't watch it anymore, so I need a new show, preferably on Netflix or if you know where I can stream from. Um, I've been watching Friday Night Lights on Potlocker, which is like, be careful with that website. It'll give you viruses if you don't have a Mac. It's just, uh, it has like a bunch of crap on it. I always stream, sh stream shows if they're not on Netflix because I don't have that, obviously. Um, I've also been watching Silicon Valley, it's one of my favorite shows, and Empire, oh my gosh, that was also on Hulu, but let me know what you guys' favorite um, shows are right now, especially if you're watching dramas. I don't really like like mystery or action stuff, I mean like, I like sci-fi, like well, the Walking Dead and is that sci-fi? I don't know. I like The Walking Dead. I like Harry Potter. Um, but I, I don't. I'm not really into like super actiony stuff or like dark. Sh I just really like drama. So let me know down below what you guys are watching so I can like go watch it too. Okay. So now that I did this, oh sh my camera. Oh my god. I had to change the battery um before you know it died and i forgot to zip my under eyes so it's creasing right now 
and I have really bad lines under my eyes for some reason. They were not always there. Anyway, I'm gonna use the Makeup Revolution Luxury Banana Baking Powder. I heard about this through Casey Holmes, and yeah, then I got it because I was pretty excited about it. So I'm just gonna take this. Under my eye to brighten. It looks so pretty though. I do love it. It really does set the under eye and also brighten it, which is awesome. And it doesn't make me look crusty or anything, so I really enjoy it. On the rest of my face, I'm gonna go ahead and take the um, Wet n Wild pressed powder in warm beige and just use that to set the rest of my face lightly. I'm, I'm doing a full beat face at this hour. Mm -mm. So now we're gonna move back on to the eyes. I like to go back and forth. This is probably why my makeup takes forever. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this yellow color right here and smoke it on the lower lash line. I'm gonna go ahead and connect it up here to the outer part of the top eyeshadow, if that makes sense. Probably doesn't, but you can see what I'm doing right here. Okay, I'm starting to get the summery vibes off of this yellow, red, pink color. I think it looks really cool. So I'm really gonna smoke out this yellow because I am gonna put blue here as well. And which is cool because the blue and yellow is gonna mix and then it's gonna make So, kind of A1. That's steak sauce. That was steak sauce! <laughs> the color, I'm gonna take this color from the Juvia's Place palette called Chi. It's this gorgeous, vibrant blue with a hint of purple. It's like, so pretty. So I'm gonna use this and run it close to my lower lash line. Well, actually, I might smoke it out. I don't know. I might smoke it out. We'll, we'll see where life takes me. So I'm first going to press it. I feel like this brush doesn't distribute this color very well. I'm gonna press it and then slowly blend it out. Not gonna lie, I kinda like it. Oh god, it got in my eye. Abort mission. Abort mission. The blue is getting in my eye. Holy oh, shit. I think I'm gonna add a little bit. Oh my god, my eyes. I'm gonna add a little bit of this color called Molly. Molly. It's like a sea green, gorgeous color. I did a tutorial with this palette. And I got like, it's one of my most popular looks on my Instagram. If you guys wanna check it out, I'll leave a card. Anyway, I'm going to place this between the, the yellow and the blue on the lower lash line. And you can't really tell from far away, but I, I think like it just looks pretty. Take my favorite inner corner highlight, which is this one right here. Oh my god, no! No, god! No, god, please, no! 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 I'm gonna take this color called Giza. It's the most blinding color ever. It's perfect for the inner corner. I mean, look. <sighs> so anyway, yeah, this is my favorite inner corner highlight. And can you imagine what it looks like wet? Yeah, so this, this just is gonna make everything come to kit. You guys, I have a weekend's new album stuck in my head and it's so sad. Like, I heard it's about Selena Gomez and, you know, I don't know how true that is, but if it is about her, it's kind of sad. Go ahead and take this mascara, this new one that I got in my Boxy Charm of last month. It's the Butter London Double Decker Lashes. I don't know how I feel about this yet. It's very, um, it's a pretty dry formula. Ah, oh, crapola, I just got it on my lid. Similar to like the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. So I don't really know how I feel about it because I didn't really like that mascara. I'm gonna go ahead and do the lower lashes. I wouldn't recommend using this on the lower lashes if you're going out. 
and you have like long lashes, this will smear. But because I'm not going anywhere, I'm just gonna apply them. I love my inner corner highlight, but I feel like I need to do more yellow. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this highlighter palette from Naked Cosmetics. Look at this packaging, it's so cool. Look at this highlighter right here. It's very yellow tone, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that on top of the inner corner highlight that I have now. Hell yeah, that looks so fire. I like it, it gives it more of like, ooh, this pops so nicely. I love it because it's yellow, so it's gonna work really nicely. Lower lash line, I'm gonna go ahead and use my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk, just to open up my eyes because it looks a little bit dark underneath. Um, so I'm taking a, or an, an angled liner brush. And I'm just gonna tap it on there. I'm gonna go ahead and take the Yolord lashes. It's a pretty, like, one of the smaller lash brands, but this is what they look like. They're really beautiful and wispy. If you'd like to check them out, I will leave their Instagram on the screen or down below. But seriously, go get their lashes. They're so affordable. They're really great quality. Um, similar to Jodo lashes, although I think they're a little bit more expensive. Just not by too much, though. Um, but they're really awesome. This is the style Yamoja. Yamoja. And I love them. They're gorgeous. So I'm gonna use this as my lashes today. And while these are drying, I'm gonna go ahead and add some bronzer, blush, and highlights to save some time. I think I wanna add a little bit of yellow on my lid. And I think I'm just gonna add it right here. I think that looks so pretty. Now it looks more spring-like, in my opinion. Okay, so for my bronzer, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take my Too Faced Sun Bunny bronzer. I'm gonna go ahead and just take the Hula bronzer and use that to just contour my nose. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead put on some of my blush. I mix these two colors right here. This is the Anastasia blush kit and I'm mixing spoiled and breeze together. They're pinky and I feel like I have more of like a pinky look going on. This is just really soft and pretty and like fresh face even though my makeup is pretty dramatic. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my skin first. And for the highlight today, we're going to be using the Babe in Paradise palette from Bretman Rock and Morphe. I've been using this non-stop. Every time I wear this, people ask me what the heck I'm wearing on my cheeks because they're so blinding. I'm going to go ahead and take, I think I'm going to do Get, get I think I'm going to do Get Laid and Baby Girl on top. And I've been using this brush from Shop Miss A. You guys need to get it it's so good oh my god oh right look at this highlight oh my god Bretman is not playing games mm -mm. none i just do you feel beautiful when you put on highlight because i feel so beautiful i'm like <laughs> and i probably look like but honestly, I just, I can't stop with this. I just can't, it's so pretty. I'm gonna take Baby Girl and put that on the very top. Bitch, oh my god. <sighs> For the lips, I think we're gonna be doing something simple, obviously a nude. I mean, to each his own. If you wanna do a full lip with this, go ahead, girl. But I feel like I have a lot going on on the eyes right now, so. We're just gonna chill it out a little bit. So I'm gonna take the MAC lip liner and strip down. Okay. And then I'm going to take the Maybelline Matte Lipstick in Beige Babe. This is like my favorite lipstick from Maybelline. So... 
it's just the beautiful like most neutral nude ever it looks beautiful and then for the gloss i'm going to be taking the patrick star and mac collection in the shade she better work and this is like one of my favorite glosses like i keep it on my vanity and i'm just gonna Okay, you guys so this is the finished look that I came up with um I what do you guys think I actually kind of I like it it's pretty different and it's fun it's colorful I like it this highlight I really can't I can't stop staring at it uh if you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to let me know by giving me a thumbs up don't forget to follow me on my social medias I will leave it on the screen here and also don't forget to comment down below what video you would like me to film next is there a certain color you would like me to do a certain style maybe a specific tutorial on how to do something let me know down below in the comments and i will do that for you guys so let me know if you prefer voiceovers or when i talk to you guys because I, I talk a lot. I know I do. <laughs> I love you guys so much, and hopefully I will be seeing you very, very, very soon. So, yeah. I love you guys, and I hope you have a good one. Bye. Good morning, America. First thing I do when I wake up is blush. Yeah, you're electronic. Uh, by the way.